Diddy is going to jail. Quite some time ago, I talked about Puff Daddy. I talked about Homeland Security raiding his residence. When I talked about this, I made it clear that when Homeland Security comes after you, there's going to be charges. When we talked about the charges, as of today, he has been arrested, and this is his indictment. A couple of things that are interesting. Once, if you, they got all of his nicknames listed on the indictment. Puff, Sean Combs, Puff Daddy, P. Diddy, Diddy, P. D., and Love. Um, he has charged with racketeering. What is racketeering? The simplest way to describe it is racketeering is like some mob shit. It's literally saying that you have a legal organization, but what the government says is your legal organization is doing illegal shit and trying to hide it. And that's what they're saying about Puff Daddy, that you have an organization. <laughs> Bad boy, take that, take that, take that. And they're all engaged in doing illegal stuff to promote the overreaching goals of the enterprise, which is you, Diddy. Um, I expect as far as that racketeering count, they're going to be naming a bunch of other people and all those people will eventually cooperate and snitch on Diddy, Diddy going down. Number two, which I thought was very interesting in talking about the massive indictment is a couple of things. They talk about the fact um, in this enterprise, they call it freak offs. They mention freak offs throughout the point in the indictment. They say after freak offs, Combs and the victims typically received IV fluids to recover from physical exertion and drug use. Damn. And then number two in the indictment, which I thought was absolutely interesting, law enforcement seized various freak-off supplies, including narcotics and more than 1,000 bottles of baby oil and lubricant. I don't think they mentioned that shit to be nice. They said, uh, Diddy, you in trouble. Then they also charged him with sex trafficking, which we already talked about, and they also charged him with basically transporting women across county lines to engage in prostitution. So, Diddy's going to jail. We asked what is the difference between federal court prosecution and state court prosecution. Federal court prosecution, what ends up happening, the easiest way I describe it is the feds do the work before they arrest an individual usually. So they build their case. So they have a very large case, a good case against the person that they're going after. They spend a lot of time, a lot of money, a lot of energy going after somebody. State court cases, a lot of time they do the research and the work after they've already arrested somebody. Translation, if somebody comes to somebody and says, that guy hit me, that guy raped me, that guy stole from me, he gets arrested right then and there and then they start looking into it. Federal government, they take their time, energy, and effort. And that's what they're doing against Diddy. Um, Diddy's going to jail. So when somebody asks me, what do I think is likely to happen when the federal government usually comes after you? Your ass is in trouble. Take that, take that, take that.